Well, hi, clarinet players. Welcome to another video lesson we're here with Mr. Walls. It's time to move past page 13 in our band book and take a look at page 14. So if you've warmed up, you're ready to go. If you haven't done any playing before this video lesson, why don't you go back to pages 12 and 13 and play some of those familiar songs, Frere Jacques, Hard Rock Blues. Get yourself well warmed up. Get that reed wet and uh, responding properly for you. So, top of page 14, we learn a new symbol, a curved line that connects two notes called a tie. This is a very, very important um, device that we are going to use a lot in reading music. So, pay attention. A tie is a curved line connecting notes of the same pitch. Play one note for the combined counts of the tied notes. So in the very first measure of song number 59, we see two quarter note Fs tied together. Quarter notes, of course, are one beat notes. If I have two one beat notes and I combine them, I have a two beat note, just like a half note, right? Okay, so we're looking at song number 59. It begins with a half note G and then it moves to two tied Fs, two tied quarter note Fs. That's going to be one note played for two beats. Then we move to a low C. Then we have two Ds tied together. Those two Ds tied together feel just like a half note. It's a two beat note. Then we move to an E, an F, and a G. So we're essentially playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, half notes in a row at the beginning of the song, even though it doesn't look like it, does it? So, let's do this. I'm going to adjust the camera so that you can see my fingers as we play. We're going to play Fit to be Tied, song number 59. We're going to stop when we get to the half rest. So we begin with a two-beat G, we go to an F, we go to a C. Up one note to D, up one note to E, up one note to F, <clears throat> up one note to G. All right, here we go. G, F, C. One, two, half note G. Not too bad, right? Pretty simple. Let's do that again. Here we go with our half note G. One, two, <clears throat> ready. Rest, rest. And now we're ready to continue. We have a whole bunch of quarter notes coming. Some of them are tied and combined. Some of them are not. And we will, of course, tongue all notes at the beginning of every note. So it, for the second half, we have a two-beat A, then two Gs, then a two-beat F, two Ds, then a two-beat E, a two-beat D, and a two-beat C. Let's play it from the two tied A's. One, two, ready, play. So that's fit to be tied. Now let's look at a song that will probably be familiar to you, and that's song number 60, Alouette, a French-Canadian folk song. And as you can clearly see, the first note is an F, and it's three beats long. It's a two-beat half note tied to a one-beat quarter note for a total of three beats. We play our three-beat F, we go right to a G, and then two half note A's. Let's play that. Remember, we're not going to tongue that quarter note F in the first measure. We're combining it with the half note. One, two, three beat F. <laughs> Let's 
Let's stop and do that again. Here we go. A three beat F, a G, and then two A's. One, two, ready. <sighs> Obviously that time I went to the next two measures. Let's start on the third measure where we have four quarter notes, G, F, G, A, F, C. It's a little tricky when you come off of that A. We go from A right to F and then to C. Let's do that. Here's the third measure, G, F, G, A. Use your tongue, find the tip of the reed with the tip of your tongue on every note. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Let's do that again. One, two, G, play. Let's continue. At the breath mark, it's very similar to the beginning of the song. Starting with a three beat F, going to G, going to two A's. Remember to press down firmly when it's time to play those A's. One, two, breath mark F. those last two measures again. G, F, G, A, F. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Do you recognize this melody? I'll bet you do. Let me play it for you once, quickly. If you don't recognize it slow, you probably will at a faster tempo. So here I go playing Alouette quickly. One, two, here I go. I'll bet you recognize it now. Sometimes you hear it played even faster. The next thing that we have in our band book is very important, a new kind of note. This is the proper way to show a note that gets three beats, a dotted half note. And the dotted half note is a regular half note, obviously, two beats, and then the dot adds half of the note's value to itself. So think about it, a, a half note is two beats, if I put a dot on it, I'm going to add half of the note's value to itself. What's half of two? One. What's two plus one? Three. Okay? Dotted half notes. Three beat notes. Let's take a look now at song number 61, Alouette, the sequel. It's the same thing that we just played, except now we're using dotted half notes for our three beat notes. They still tie two quarter notes together in one place just to make you think. Here we go again from the very beginning, number 61, Alouette the sequel, looking at a dotted half note F, a three beat F, going right to a G, and then right to our two A's. Press down firmly for those A's. One, two, ready, here we go. Let's do that one more time. Let's play it one more time. All the way through. One, two, alouette. Number 
song number 62, Camp Town Races, by the very famous composer Stephen Foster, um, S Stephen Collins Foster, he was known as. Read the rest of that history bar on your own. Very interesting stuff. Camp Town Races. I see a, a song here that looks pretty rhythmic, doesn't it? It has lots of eighth notes in it. I see some dotted half notes. Um, I see a repeat sign at the very end, so I know that I should play this song twice. Let's just study the rhythm for a second here. Let's say the rhythm for Camp Town Races using ta and tt. Here we go, ready? Say it with me. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta. Ta, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta. And it repeats. At the very beginning, let's look at the note names. Let's say the, the names to the rhythm. We have G, G, E, E, G, A, G, E, E, D, E, D. Let's play that. Let's just play the first <coughs> measure. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. I'm getting ready to find that E. One, two, Ready? Here we go. Let's do that again. Ready? Play. And the next measure is A, G, E. Let's play that. Ready? Let's do that again. A, G, E. play from the very beginning and put those two measures together. So I went right into those next two measures and we have a quarter note E followed by a three beat D. It's kind of an unusual rhythm but it's one of the things that makes this melody so interesting and distinctive. As we continue at the breath mark, these next two measures are identical to the first two measures of the song. Let's play. Here we go with G, G, E, E, G, A, G, E. Breath mark. One, two, ready, and play. Continue on D, 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 E, D, C. Here we go and play. Do that again. D, D, D. Ready? Tongue. Let's play the whole song twice. So we'll play it as written with the repeat. Here we go. One, two, beginning. Camp Town Races, a really fun song to play. 
And you'll also notice that it says allegro at the beginning. Allegro means fast. So this tempo that we just played it at was more of a moderato, wasn't it? We'll work at playing it faster. Learn something slow, you can always make it faster once you get it in your fingers. Speaking of fingers, song number 63, New Directions, teaches us a very, very important note for clarinets. And uh, um, boy, I, I just can't stress how enough how important that new note is. Now, up till now, in the low register of the clarinet, we've learned our B natural, and we've learned A, and now we're going down one lower note to the next note down from A, which is G. Think about the A that you already know, your high A that you use all the time. The next note down from that A is open fingered G. In the low register, the next note down from A is the three finger G. Listen, here's the high A. All right, and now here's low A. There's your A and your G. If you're a or your G is not working good for you, if it's not speaking, you're probably uncovering a finger up here someplace. So then I would suggest that you start on a C and walk down the instrument. Play a C and then a B and then an A and then a G. Watch. <laughs> these fingers up top pull off of the tone holes. If you uncover a tone hole with one of these top fingers, if you move it off too far, then that low register will not work. So if your low notes aren't working, check what's going on with your high notes up here. All right, so we're looking at song 63. We see our new note G, which has two ledger lines above it. That's a pretty low note, isn't it? The third note of this song, New Directions, is the low G. We start on a C, we go to an A, and then we go to that low G. Finger that with me, C, then A, then G. Let's play that. One, two, C, then A. <laughs> Let's try that again. One, two, ready, C. And as you can see, the fourth note is just back to the A. I always call this the Pocahontas song because it reminds me so much of the Disney movie Pocahontas and Colors of the Wind specifically. Let's look at the next two measures where the quarter notes start. The rhythm is ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. And the notes are E, E, D, C, A, G. All right? E, E, D, C, A, G. Let's play that. One, two, E. Doesn't that sound like the Pocahontas song? Let's do that again. Ready? All right. Notice after that three beat G that we just ended on, we take a breath and we play another G. A lot of kids get in trouble. They play that three beat G and they don't repeat that note. So let's start again on the third measure on the quarter notes and eighth notes. And we're gonna keep going. We're gonna play down to that low G. We're gonna take a breath. We're gonna play another G and then we'll move to the C. Third measure, E. One, two, ready, 
Go. <laughs> Continue on the E, E, F, D, G, C. Again, E, E, F, D, G, C. So that D to G movement is kind of funky, right? You're putting your third finger down up top and all three fingers down in your right hand. If that low G comes out for you, you're in good shape. Let's play the last two measures, starting on E, E, F, D, and ready, play. Let's do that again. Ready, play. You see that I'm anticipating that low G, don't you? E, E, F, D. D, and I get my fingers moving ahead of time to find that low G down there. Let's play the whole song all the way through. One, two, beginning. Alright guys, you know, pretty long video lesson, 22 going on 23 minutes, but boy, if you want to sound good on your instrument, you've got to spend time playing it. We know that. So get working on page 14, learn that low G, get it working good for you so that in a couple weeks when I put another lesson up for you, you're ready to move on to page 15 and maybe even 16 too. Alright, good job guys. We'll be seeing you.